See, when you got favor, then you got faith, then you got love, you can do all things, brother. I'm super excited. We are a missionary Baptist church flowing in a non-denominational spirit. 59 years ago, the Reverend Dr. William Harris started this ministry. Pastor Burns took it for 12 years. Now, I've been here for 12 years. Hey, I'm not that old. But this is a powerful ministry. We're flowing in a spirit that's unbelievable. February of 2014, the church will be 60 years old. And I'm going to ordain. We're going to break tradition. We're going to bust it. We're coming out. We want the world to know. I'm going to ordain for the first time at the True Light Church. Two of my powerful daughters in the Lord, Minister Jan and Minister Alexis, are going to be ordained. But for right now, I'm going to knock your socks off. Mama said knock them out. So I'm going to knock you out. Amen. Amen. Minister Alexis is about to preach the gospel today. She's going to blow it up. Minister Jan, tell us what you like about Minister Alexis. Minister Alexis is awesome in awesome. the Lord. Word. Anointed, appointed, and approved. Yes. So you better come down to East 55th Street, 1799 East 55th Street. Man, yeah. she can't talk because she's about to preach the word. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Hey, man. hey, meet us at the light. Find that be able to turn there with me. Because 
faith come by hearing, but hearing by the word of God. Sometimes we can't just hear things, sometimes we need to see things. There's different ways that people learn. Some are what we call auditory, so you just hear. Some are what we call visual, so you need to see it. If you don't have a Bible on the back of some of the pews, there are some Bibles. If the back of the pew doesn't have a Bible, I ask, I really ask, I'm actually pleading that you share with your neighbor. This is very important. You need not miss this. What happened is so many of you have already missed the word of God. You missed it when he passed by your situation and thought I'm still in my circumstance. He must not be there. So open up and read your word. The book of Matthew, which is the first book in the New Testament, the first book of the four Gospels, which teach the life, the ministry, the death, and the one resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We serve a living God. The book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, the 33rd verse, the NIV version, which is what I'm going to read you from first, says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And if you happen not to have an NIV version, but you know the one that came out before the NIV, but we refer to that as a King James, right. that happens to say, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, right. and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. God wants you to know that we're kingdom kids. Yes. And last month, Pastor had to say, well, sometimes, you know what, we're just kingdom kids and we're adults. Right. We're in a grown up body. That's right. But the way God looks at things, we're always his children. That's right. That never changes. That's right. He just wants you to get on board and be able to follow the obedience, the obedience to him right. as our father. Right. So we say Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. We say Daddy. Yes. We say Abba. That's right. yes. And we say that because he gives us what we need. Yes. And so I'm here to remind you that he says to your children, don't forget that I'm here and that there's only one kingdom and it's my kingdom. Yes. But you need to know how to speak. Yes. You need to know how to seek me. You need to know how to seek me. The first words in Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first. The kingdom of not myself, not my neighbor, not my family member, not the doctor that's trying to give me a cancer, not the athlete that's trying to give me that, you know, next type of millionaire contract. He just says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. But uh, some of y'all kind of confused on what the word seek means. You kind of think, well, I can seek him only on Sundays when I come to the church. Yeah. So you think they can go seek him on that word seek him. So you think they can go seek him when I feel down and I'm and I'm No, no, no. That's not the way. 
church, right. God doesn't like that. Right. He said, you know, I gave you these lips to be able to give me praise. Right. I gave you hands yeah. to be able to lift up holy yeah. praise yeah. and be able to worship me. Yeah. He says, you know what? I created you to be a worshiper yeah. and a praiser. Come on, but my children don't know how to worship me. I told them to come before me and worship me in spirit and in truth, but they don't open up the word to find the truth that's within. So now I gotta go and be able to teach you. He said that you need to come. Children, tell your parents, mommy, dad, I need to go to church. And parents, when you hear them say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm going to go to church, and you want to sit up in your bed because you're tired. For whatever reason, whatever you did the night before, or the fact that a baby was crying, kept you up all night long, and you decided, you know what, I really want to rest. Not saying your body doesn't need rest, because it does. All right. But he says, the children, let them come unto me. Yes. If you yes. think in the book of Matthew, and you look a little further to the 19th chapter, and you look at the 14th verse, well, that's where he says, let the children come to me. That's right. Yes. He says, do not hinder them, right. for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Right. 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 And at that point, he was talking to his disciples. And the disciples were the chosen twelve that Jesus happened to say, you know what, come along with me. And they didn't ask questions like we do today. We asked, well, what is it going to be like? Well, how long is it going to take? Well, what is it going to be like? 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 Well, what is it going to Wow. So, he was coming, the disciples, when the children were coming up to him, just coming up, my children, come on up. So he's like, come on up. They were coming up, and little Darius was coming up, and she had to tell him, he was thinking of reading. So they were coming up and coming up, and he was, Jesus was laying his hands on them. He was praying for them. And he saw other children come up, and Jesus laid his hands on them, and he was praying for them. And other children were coming up, and he laid his hands on them. And he, Jesus, was praying for them. And the disciples said, no, 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 no. Mind you, they're supposed to be thinking, what, kingdom? They are already here with the man of God in the flesh. The one true living God in the flesh. And he was telling them, oh, Jesus, you need, we can't let all these children come up to you. Let's push them back. And Jesus said to them, after he said, let them come, hinder them not. So I'm speaking to you right now, parents, and letting you know your children that you always need to tell your parents that they need to come. But when you ask them and they decide not to, Jesus said, I don't know what Bible you have, but the words already read in Matthew 19, 14. Well, Suffer not the little children, let them come unto me. Yeah. So when you say, I'm not going to go today, Jesus already told the disciples, don't hinder them. So as a parent, you are hindering your children. Well, Yourself, 
else. He goes, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 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 Every job promotion that you got is not an I did it. He said, we did it. Yeah. Everything that a child has to get in school, he said, when you didn't get there on your own intellect, on your own good conduct, he said, we did it. We did. But do you, you understand that the we exists?
off, period. So they'll be like, go get the water. Go get the water. Go sit down. Go sit down. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. And they say what we say. Yeah. Are y'all going to say it?
I told you, don't sleep on her. She's awesome, man. Educated, anointed, preaching God's word. She preached so much, she can't even talk. Minister Dan, tell them what happened. Minister Alexa is awesome, in, awesome. The, awesome in the word. She's anointed, appointed, and approved. Anointed, appointed, and approved. Yes. Meet us at the light. Faith, faith, and love.